TLS is the basis for secure transactions across the internet and within enterprise networks. It is a powerful security tool for enterprises, providing both authentication and confidentiality. However, there are risks when using TLS that must be addressed. TLS relies on the use of cryptographic keys called TLS certificates. These TLS certificates must be managed properly or organizations can experience several undesirable outcomes. Every TLS certificate has an expiration date encoded within it. And just like a carton of milk that has expired, a certificate should not be used after it expires. Many organizations struggle to ensure that they change their certificates before they expire. If a certificate expires while still in service, the app it is securing can stop working, resulting in lost revenue and unhappy customers. Nearly every organization has experienced an outage due to expired certificates. Another risk of TLS involves an attacker using the very security that TLS provides to hide their malicious activities. Just as an organization server will offer a legitimate user a secure connection, it will do the same for an attacker. However, instead of using that secure connection for legitimate purposes, an attacker will use it to hide their malicious activities as they probe for vulnerabilities in systems. If they find a vulnerability, they can exploit it and compromise a system. However, the data attackers seek is not at the edge of organizations' networks, so they must continue to probe and move to other systems until they find the data that they seek. If an organization uses TLS for security internally, the attacker can continue to hide their malicious activities as they move from system to system within an organization. When presented with this threat, Many organizations believe that they can prevent the initial intrusion by using a device called a proxy at the edge of their network, where the attacker would have initially connected. This proxy can be used to inspect all of the incoming traffic and look for malicious activity. However, today, there are numerous edges in every organization. If an attacker is able to successfully fish an employee and compromise their system, they can then begin to pivot to other systems, all the while hiding their activities within secure TLS connections. If organizations are not managing their TLS certificates properly, it can prevent them from inspecting traffic within TLS connections for malicious activity. This can leave them open to a breach of data deep within their networks. Another risk of TLS is the inability to change large numbers of certificates quickly something called crypto agility. Cryptography and certificates rely on mathematical algorithms. Many different cryptographic algorithms have been created and used over the years. When each algorithm was first released, it was considered secure, but over time increased computing power and breaking techniques can render an algorithm vulnerable. When this occurs, an organization must be able to change all of the certificates that rely on that algorithm. In large organizations, this can be thousands or even tens of thousands of certificates. Progress that is being made in quantum computing is putting many of the algorithms that are being used today at risk. Organizations must be prepared to replace all of their keys and certificates very quickly in case any of the algorithms they are using becomes vulnerable. Another factor that impacts crypto agility is related to the cryptographic libraries that are used. Because cryptographic algorithms are very complicated and risky to develop, the industry has come to rely on a small number of libraries that provide cryptographic services. If a bug is found in one of these libraries, it can require large numbers of certificates to be replaced. You may have heard of the Heartbleed bug in OpenSSL or the cryptographic bugs that were introduced in Debian and Infineon. Finally, certificates are issued by systems or organizations called certificate authorities, or CAs. A CA can be outside of an organization or inside of an organization. If a CA that has been issuing an organization's certificates is compromised or even suspected to be insecure, it may be necessary to rapidly replace all the certificates from that CA. 
You may have heard about Symantec being distrusted by Google and Mozilla because it had questionable security practices. This caused many enterprises to scramble to figure out where they had Symantec certificates and replace them. If any of these incidents occurs and an organization is not able to rapidly respond and replace all of their certificates, their services can be seen as insecure, impacting both their revenue and their reputation. These are some of the risks organizations face if they don't properly manage their TLS certificates.